Well, tank heaters are working overtime this morning. Looking good. Let's check how the cows are doing today. It's like eight below zero here this morning. There's Big Red. She don't look too bad. A little bit of a snow pack on her back. That'll just help keep the heat in. Yeah, not too bad. Huh. I don't know if you guys can see the old donkey there, but she's got ice cubes hanging off her eyelashes. If you let me touch you, I'll uh, fix that for you. Would you let me touch you? Huh? Miss Donkey. Miss Jenny. Look at this. This is kind of cool. This old black cow, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but do you see the snow melting off of this cow? It's eight below zero here. And she's got ice and snow melting off her back. That is crazy. And somebody thinks a cow needs a barn? Come on, people. These animals are built for this kind of weather. They do better in this than 100 degree heat. That'll kill them. They're like, even that old white cow. You'd think the black would probably be warmer than the white, but even that white cow's got snow melting off her back. That is pretty awesome. The one I feel most sorry for is a donkey, and she's fine. She'd let me touch her, I'd fix that around her eyes, but she's kind of as wild as a anything. She definitely doesn't have snow melting off over. But, all right, well, let's check the rest of them. I got one here trying to be an idiot and walking in the feeder, but you'll have that. Come on, Red, get out of here. Get out of the feeder, come on. Come on. Good girl. There's a black cow. Yeah, got plenty of feed because I don't want to start tractor today. It's a below zero, like I said, and it's cold. We got our little jersey here. And no, she ain't starving. She's just a dairy cow. So she's a little skinny. That's what dairy cows are. We got what's left of our calf crop from last year. Another idiot walking in my feeder. That's all right. We got Mr. Murray here, our Murray Gray bull that we bought last year. He's looking pretty nice. Looks like he wants another hay bale in here pretty soon. Trying to reach it. Yeah. Yeah. They don't look like they're dying either. There's a Tunia's calf. Kind of a sad note today. Is I just got back. We ended up hauling Miss Tunia to the butcher today. She had a processing date on her. She lived a pretty good life, his mom. Her name was Vitunia. She was here for probably the last 10 years. I've owned her. She was an 11, 12 year old cow, something like that. But she ended up going to the butcher today, so. We won't see Petunia around here no more. She was just getting old and she wasn't dealing with this cold weather good. She was, you could tell, she was just, she was getting old and tired and she was, I thought I could salvage her a little bit. She's giving me a lot of good calves like him. He's a good calf. But you gotta do that sometimes. You gotta make a, some of them hard decisions. Trying to farm a little bit. Especially when you got livestock. Hurts too bad when they die and you end up having to bury them. And it gets where you get nothing salvaged out of them. But Petunia didn't owe me nothing anyway. She was a good cow. It's kind of a sad day today, like I said, for us. So, yeah. But the rest of these girls are doing good. But another thing I thought that was just crazy today that I've seen is that snow melting off these cows' backs. That is crazy. So, 
all. We should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven calves next year. The dairy cow over here, Jersey, she ended up not catching. She keeps coming in the heat. So, yeah, didn't you? You didn't catch this year. So, we'll put her back in with Norman and, or not Norman, Murray. We'll breed her to the Murray Gray Bull here. He'll have a girlfriend here in a while. Kind of want to get out of this cold stretch, though. So we'll kick him with her and see if he's worth his weight. Otherwise, he'll get one of them processing dates. But this little heifer, I think, she'll be a first-time heifer this year. She should calve. I think she's in full, or not full, horse talk again. Calf. I'm hoping she's a nice calf. So, I got her full sister right over there. So, I think we got Hey, Blue, quit. It's not time to work. But, yeah, I guess. Just thought I'd give you guys an update on our eight below zero. The wind's finally not blowing, so it's it's not too bad out here today. But I guess I'll let you guys go and talk to you all later. Stay warm, stay safe. God bless all of you. Thank you.